Okay, um, continuing on with Dreamweaver, a couple of things we want to look at. Over here on the right-hand side, we have a DOM pan panel. And the DOM panel tells us what we're currently on right now. So HTML is the container, the main container. We have our head section, and you can see that there's a meta tag and a title tag in there, which is reflective here. We have a body tag and an H1 and an H2 in that particular tag. Notice that if I click on any of these elements, it'll select the elements. Um, so that's helpful. We also have under bottom of Dreamweaver, you have this section here, which will show you tags. And as the tags run, uh, it'll show you what the parent is. So you can select the parent and what the child is. So you can select the child. So it's very similar. Um, over here on the right, uh, we saw the insert panel, uh, but there's also this CSS designer panel. And right now there's no CSS file applied to this site. So what we want to do is we want to provide one or create one. So if you click this plus button here, you'll see that you have a couple of options, create a new CSS file, attach an existing CS fi CSS file or define in the page. Now define in the page would put it in the head section. Um, so we talked earlier about where to put CSS, an external file, uh, inside uh, internal file or inline styles. So that would put that into the internal style sheet. We want to create a new CSS file and it's going to allow us to save this. So I'm going to give it a name and generally the name of the, your style sheet is usually styles. And we want to a link. There's an option to import, but we're going to choose link. And then we can browse to where we want to put that. So we're in our site folder. I'm going to just click this drop down. But inside the site folder, I want to create a new folder called CSS. And that will house all of my style sheets. Uh, and then save as styles.css. And then click save. And you notice that the file path is here, CSS slash styles. And then I'll click save or OK. And now you notice up here on the top, Dreamweaver has shown us two tabs here now. So I have my source code and I have styles.css. And styles.css is currently empty other than the, the character set. So the way that Dreamweaver works with the CSS designer is that the CSS designer now says that the source is styles.css. And notice that we have all and current sources. So we're back on all. And then let's say, for example, that I want to style one of these elements here. So let's say I want to style my H1. Um, so if I were to go ahead and click on a selector, and it will automatically create a selector, which is body H1, which is correct. And I'll just hit return on that. And then well, how do I want to style this? Well, there's a number of properties, just like we learned in CSS earlier. Every selector has properties and values. So if I click on the plus button, um, there's a drop down here that will allow me to choose all these different properties that I, um, that I could target. Um, and notice that there's this more button. So, um, and then show set will show which properties. So for example, if I just type in font, here are all the font properties. So if I say font family, uh, and then I can supply uh, some values here. So Helvetica sans serif, for example. And now you'll see that that's changed. So then if let's say I want to go in and do font size. And then I say, let's say 48 pixels. And that's reflected in InDesign, I mean in uh, Dreamweaver. And it should also be reflected in the style sheet. Now notice that the style sheet has the star next to it, and the HTML file has a star next to it. So neither file has been saved. Um, in Dreamweaver, if I go to File Save All, it'll save all those changes. So you're going to find that as you're working with this, that it becomes pretty cumbersome becomes pretty tedious to go in and to figure out which properties that you want to apply to elements. 
So, I mean, you can go into the style sheet and just write out your styles. So let's say, for example, that I want to change the color of the text. So if I type in color, and I'll notice that DreamWork shows this color picker, and the color picker has all of the HTML colors. We talked about this in another video. So I could choose one of these colors, or I could use an RGB value. So if I say RGB, and then you'll see another color picker come up. So that's really cool. I can go to this blue section and I can select the blue color that I want this to be. And then it shows me the, the, the color values. Just hit return or enter. And now that's that color. Notice that I made my change here in the style sheet, but that property showed up in the CSS designer. So the CSS designer will works two ways. You can work on it kind of like a WYSIWYG way here, or you can work on it uh, in the style sheet itself. So those are kind of a couple different ways that you can work on it. Again, um, it takes a while to build a style sheet and building it by going in here and trying to figure out which selectors you need and which properties you need is, is going to be tedious. And you'll find that um, you can work a lot faster if you know the code. But if you don't know the code, you can use the CSS designer to do what, what you need to do. Um, so that's a couple things. The next thing we want to take a look at, the last thing here on this one, is in our preview preferences, because you can preview your pages. So if I'm previewing here in split view. Uh, if I go to live view, this is how the page would look in live view. Um, and then in split, it shows me both. But this is only kind of like a simulation of a browser. It's not the actual browser. So we want to preview in the browser. And there's a couple different ways to do that. I can click this preview button here, and it'll show it in my default browser, whichever that one that is. But you want to set up those things ahead of time. So under Dreamweaver, under Preferences, Dreamweaver Preferences comes up. And there's real-time preview. So default to, uh, to static browser preview. So these are my browsers. I have Firefox, I have Google Chrome, and I have Safari. Safari is set as my primary browser by default um, in Dreamweaver. I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to set Google Chrome as my primary browser. And you'll see that it applies a shortcut here, option F12, so we can get that at really quick. Firefox, I want that to be my secondary browser. Um, Safari, I can do that. I can also add a browser. So I just recently installed the Edge browser. So I will go to my application folder and I will look for the Edge browser. It might be under Microsoft. Microsoft Edge, here it is. And I'll click open on that. And I'm not going to add this as a primary or secondary. I already have those set up. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll click Apply. And then you can close the preferences. So what will this, this will do is uh, if I go to File and I go to Real-Time real Preview, I can use Command F12 to go to my secondary browser. Or I can use Option F12 to go to my primary browser, or I can just click this item right here. So if I click on Google Chrome app, it'll launch Google Chrome. And it'll show me in the browser what it is that I'm working on. And this is a live preview. It's connected to Dreamweaver. So anything we do in Dreamweaver will be reflected in that. So if I say, hello world, and give that a save, if I go back to the browser, it's automatically updating that, which is really, really helpful. So if you have a dual monitor set up, you can have Dreamweaver on one monitor, you can have your browser on another monitor, you can be working in real time, and that's why it's called real-time preview, so you can get a real-time preview of it is that you're working on. Um, so yeah.